What up, family? It's your boy King Over Tuna back again with another episode. You guys, I'm on my way to uh, Chibali National Park and um, we had to stop over somewhere because we found a little spot. Boom! Check this out. Yeah, check it out. This is one of the crater lakes out here in Fort Porter, you guys. And uh, literally, we just stopped right on the road. <sighs> Our uh, vehicle is like up there or whatever. But yeah, guys, hidden gems, man, hidden gems. Tell me y'all, drop with your boy. Look at this guy, got fish, oh my God. Oh my God, so nice. Spot for the local fishermen, guys. But this is one of those hidden gems that I was telling you about. I'm gonna make my way down here to the shoreline, hope I don't fall, you feel me? Soldier. Soldier man. What's over there? That's someone's uh, land. Uh, yeah, so you guys, as you guys can see, this is one of the Crater Lakes over here. It's a fisherman's spot. I'm assuming that they cleared it out so they didn't come down here from the landing site. But yeah, this is a crater lake, guys. Okay, fam, so I hear running water. I hear some running water. So I'm about to go check it out. I found a local path. You know what that means. You know what that means. It's like right over there on that side. Let's see if we can uh, get over there. I hope you guys can hear me okay. When you are sloping down a hill, for those of you who are not used to trekking, my best advice is for you to turn your feet sideways. Turn your feet sideways and you slope down sideways, slow. If you try to go straight for it, you'll slip and you'll start tumbling on down. I'm a wee, a wee bit experienced with this stuff. I am an expert by any means. And here we are. This looks like a man-made uh, waterfall. This is definitely, definitely a man-made waterfall. But it does not take away from the aesthetic. There are some natural rocks that are here, but I can tell that there was some work done. So, you know, still a waterfall, right? National Park, but I just wanted to stop over so I can see some uh, local uh, uh, spots that people, you know, try to enjoy in the local neighborhoods and whatnot. But this is a waterfall that is located over by one of the um, crater lakes on your way to Shibali National Forest. So, uh, National Park, excuse me. So, uh, yeah, y'all get an opportunity, you know what I'm saying? You got a good driver and he knows local spots. Definitely, definitely mark this on your to do list. You hear me?
Save the parrots. Look, my is a Okay, family, so we are in Chibale National Park. This area is called Bogodi, Bigodi. And we are going to be trekking to um, the swamp area. We're just going to be uh, doing a little nature hike. And uh, right now, I'm just uh, getting a view or the tour of the area. So, you'll tell me where are we at now? We are in a Bigodi mm -hmm. swamp, and uh, we are going to do the swamp walk. Yeah, we expect to see the six different primates, whereby we have the velvet monkey, which is these over here. Yeah, that one. Uh -huh. We have the red tailed monkey, we have the lee hoist monkey, which is rare to be seen, the black and white. The black and white colobus monkey, red colobus monkey, plus an olive baboon. Okay. Yeah. I didn't catch your name. What's your name again? Patrick. Patrick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we go. Yes. All right. Following you. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, we have these ones here. Uh huh. I see them up there. Those ones are always chilling. Yeah. <laughs> I like those ones because they don't disturb people, bro. They're yeah, always they, up high in the trees. Yeah. They, they just be up there chilling. Yeah. And these ones are the black and white colobus monkeys. Mm -hmm. And they, they live in a group of 15 to 30 members. Mm -hmm. And when they exit, they will have to split the group into two groups. And they mostly, when there is a variety of food, they can stay together in a group. Okay. And uh, the yeah, gestation period is between five to six months, and uh, they produce one baby per pregnancy. Oh. The baby is born when it is purely white in color. Really? And then starts developing the black color after three months. So you, have you ever seen a white baby before? Yeah, and actually we have one with a baby, but I think it's not around here now. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the whole group is led by one dominant male. Uh-huh, okay, yeah. okay. The, the dominant male is the one to mate with all the females in the group. Okay. Yeah. So what happens if you have another male in the group that becomes of age? Does that dominant male chase that one away? Yeah, sometimes, like, uh, it can mate with the females, but uh, makes sure that he's far away from the dominant male. Oh, okay. Yeah. And That's they, interesting. And again, these... Color, this uh, black and white colobus monkey, they have got the bushy tail mm -hmm. and uh, they don't use the tail or they don't use the tail for swinging. For they, climbing? Yeah, they just use the tail where they are jumping to balance their body. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, there goes the red tail one over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah, look at that red tail. Yeah. He's quick. <laughs> and actually, for the red tail monkey, mm -hmm. it is the fastest monkey that we have around Kivali National. Wow. Yeah, there's quite a few of them over there. Yeah. I doubt you guys will be able to see that within the trees, but they're there. They are definitely there. The closer I get, the you know, they just start taking off, so. But they are definitely around. Man, you guys are so lucky to have stuff like this around here. Yeah. We just got ghetto birds and ghetto uh, squirrels. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if you guys can see it. That is a red tail. Very nice, long tail, small body. Yeah. Really, really cool. They have got the long tail compared to its body size. Okay. Oh, we have another one. Wow, look at that. I've only been here, what, five minutes and already we've seen, what, three, four species? Yeah, four species. That's crazy. That is amazing. Yeah. All right, we continue. 
and uh, these ones, the red colobus monkeys, for them, they are. They have got the tree which they feed on, mm -hmm. and uh, after feeding on that tree, they get drunk. And uh, sometimes, like in Kibale, they face the challenge of losing their life. Really? Yeah. Because after getting drunk, they've met the chimpanzees. They feel like they have the, <laughs> the chimpanzees that win the fight. Oh, yeah, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> you play with your life. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, and uh, these ones, again, also, it is led by one dominant male. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it happens, like, the sub-male is in the group. The dominant male will have to chase the sub male when they come. Yeah. We got a visitor like right next to us. Wow. <laughs> Bro, this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get a selfie with it? <laughs> yeah, it's up there. Yeah. yeah it's going. <laughs> Wow, that's cool. Yeah, maybe, okay. Maybe, yeah. mm -hmm. Oh, he's eating something. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. All right, we continue. Oh, there's two of them up there. I didn't see the other one. <laughs> and now they're fighting. Super quick, bro. Family, uh, as a reminder, when you guys come to these areas, uh, as I was saying, as a reminder, when you guys come to these areas, make sure you're wearing the proper uh, PPE, proper shoes, stuff like that. At least something that's decent for walking through. Uh, forest area, some good boots, hiking boots or whatever. I actually left mine behind, so using what I got to get what I need. But yeah, definitely make sure you guys wear stuff like that, personal protective equipment, because you are trekking through a forest, so you want to stay safe at all times. There are snakes here, correct? Yeah. Um, <coughs> They're not Sometimes dead. it's... Uh, they're not venomous, are they? Come again? Are they poisonous? The, the, the snakes? Yeah. Yeah, we have the poison us, mm -hmm. but uh, the snakes, since we started conserving this area, we never faced that challenge. Okay. Because for the snakes, for them, they are always shy. Yeah. Like when you, uh, when they are moving on ground and you're also coming maybe They're too moving. close to them they will have to run away because they will get that vibration on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you won't see it. Maybe you can see it in a distance, but mm. not too close to you. Okay. Yeah. Because one thing I know about snakes is that they typically don't bite people unless they have to because it takes a long time to produce venom. And it's not easy to produce their venom, you know what I'm saying? And what I was told is that baby snakes, when they're first born, are more dangerous than adult snakes because baby snakes cannot uh, control how much venom they use. They'll just use all of it. So that's something I want to keep in mind. See baby snakes, stay away. Yeah. You have fire ants here. The the, the safari ants. Fire, fire. The ones that bite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We call them the safari ants. Okay. You've seen one there. There's a whole trail of them, right? Yeah. There. <laughs> That's the number one thing I pay attention to when I'm in the forest, bro. Yeah. You can see them around here. Always watch your step when you're in the forest. Yeah. Because. <laughs> You feel some pinching in your shoe, 
you probably stepped on some ants. Yeah. And for them things, they don't die so easily. Yeah. You can step on them and they'll crawl right in your shoe. They empty, they can bite you something. Tear you up, boy. So there's two types that I've seen so far in Uganda. There's the black ones and then there's these red ones. The red ones are terrible, but the black ones are worse. And these black ones, they're not like, they're black and red, but they're not like these normal big black ones you'll see everywhere. These black ones I've only seen in the forest when I was in Windy. And um, how I noticed it was it bit me. It was the worst thing I ever felt. So I'm telling y'all now, watch your step. Wow, look at this tree. Yeah, this one. Yeah, man. That's an this interesting looking tree. Fans. We call them fans. Mm -hmm. And they are on a tree to get the support. And they, it is where they can survive. Is that a part of the tree or is it like no, growth from part, something yeah, else? They are not part of the tree. Oh, ah, so it's like another plant attached itself to yeah. it. Okay. And they, they normally store their water during the rainy season. Okay. And when it comes to the sunny season, you find like they are dry. They are no longer active. Oh, so they go dormant and then they come yeah, back. Yeah, they are dormant during the sunny season, mm. but they become active during the... Uh, Interesting. Make sure you watch your step. Yes, sir. Okay, family, so I have reached the end of our journey. We have exited the uh, jungle area. Uh, once again, you guys, make sure you come out here with proper equipment, uh, proper protective equipment, like the proper footwear. Uh, long pants isn't really required, but you know, if that's what you wanna wear, go ahead. Or you wear something more breathable. It is a jungle, it does get a little bit humid around, so make sure whatever it is you're wearing is not too thick, it's breathable. Make sure you wear proper footwear as well, as well because um, there are a lot of ants on the trail. These ants do bite. They're red ants and the uh, black bullet ants, they do bite. So make sure you are protecting yourselves properly. Uh, this trip was actually an amazing trip. I learned a lot about this forest. I learned a lot about the, uh, the plant life and the uh, trees as well. And of course, I got to see a lot of nature. Uh, I got to see a lot of different types of monkeys here. A lot of different species of monkeys, different types of birds, things of that nature. So if you are a nature boy like me, of course, you're definitely gonna wanna take this, put this on your uh, to-do list when you come out here to Chibale National Park. And this is a very good experience, you know what I'm saying? You get to mingle with locals and you get to have a great, great, great experience. Uh, my ride is here, so we are about to dip out. Try to get something to eat. Try to give me some cheeseburgers or something. <laughs> I'm joking. All right, y'all, it's been a blessed and wonderful day. Uh, I hope everybody liked this episode. Uh, I might actually have a little bit more for you, so stay tuned a little bit for more. Uh, I'm supposed to be going to Crater Lake, so we'll see. We'll check out the Crater Lakes. I apologize. I stepped into a, a spider web. I got a spider web over my face. So, yeah, you guys stay tuned for some more, all right?